So we're back on Way of the Hunter, and today's video is going to be another compilation of just a bunch of different trophies and stuff that I've gotten over the last several weeks. So pretty much just like the um, Call of the Wild um, trophy compilation I did the other day. So yeah, I guess I really hope you enjoyed the video here. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. We're not going to waste any more time. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. So we're back here on Way of the Hunter, and today we're going to be doing another compilation video. So we're going to be starting off here with a five-star Mountain Goat. So this honestly really surprised me. I didn't even know the Mountain Goats got down this far. Um, we're down here at this, just right by this campsite over here in the Rivermouth um, grassland area. And I didn't even know they got down this far, but I came off or came out of that campsite there. And there was these mountain goats. There's also a four-star mature in here, which is very interesting as well. So definitely want to see if we can find their zone down there. I'm guessing they're probably drinking. What time is it? It's 12.15. So yeah, they should still be drinking. So we'll have to try and see if we can find their um, drink zone. But yeah, this guy completely surprised us here. So I'm going to go ahead and do another compilation video of a bunch of different five stars that we're probably going to get over the next week or so. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with this guy. So... We currently have the 7600 pump action, and yeah, he's giving us a perfect shot right there, so if we can somehow just manage to get the gun out before he decides to run off or something like that, that would be perfect. And yeah, he's going to start looking this direction, and that's because the wind is kind of terrible right now, but 131 will zero for 150. Let's go ahead and take that shot there, so that will drop him. So like I said, there's also a 4-star mature in there as well, and I didn't actually get to spot the rest of the herd, so... There is potential that maybe there's another 5-star in there, I don't think there is, um, because that would be absolutely crazy, but there is a 4-star, so definitely something to keep in mind, um, just for future videos and stuff like that, or for a future clip for this compilation, so, yeah, let's look around and see, do we have drink zones here? There's one right here, so, that is Mule Deer, let's see, do we have a Mountain Goat drink zone, are they doing something completely different, um, pretty sure Mountain Goats and all the deer and stuff like that drink at 9 o'clock. Okay, so there's Red Fox right there, so is it going to give us Mountain Goat as well? Doesn't look like it's going to, so definitely very interesting if they don't have a drink zone down here. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and pick him up. We'll figure this out later, maybe. So, let's go ahead and see what he's going to score. This is our third one, I think, so this will actually complete our multi-mount, if I'm not mistaken. So, we're definitely going to go ahead and get this guy tagged. So, let's pick him up, and got him in the right lung right there, so really, really good shot on this guy. And 89.49 on the genetics, but he is going to be a 5-star mature. So, definitely very, very interesting. Um, 640 for the sell price. So, we definitely could sell him there and make a pretty good hunk of change. But we're going to go ahead and tax him. So, 475 for the toll score. Don't know if that's our biggest one. But we're going to go ahead and tax him. And yeah, let's go ahead and check really quickly. We'll go into the taxidermy assistant. And let's see. We have this one right here. This would have been our first one. He was a 472. So, the one we have today so far is our biggest one. Let's check out our second one here. He's a 467. So, yeah, this is our biggest 5-star so far, or 5-star Mountain Goat so far. So, definitely very, very cool. So yeah, I don't know what they were doing down here. Um, I'll have to look around for drink zones, potentially. Maybe this is it right here. No, this is Red Fox. So, unless I already have it, potentially. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we have any Mountain Goats around here. So, who knows? Maybe they were glitched out down here. I really do not know. Like I said, I have never seen them before. Um, I've seen Elk and stuff over here, but never Mountain Goats. So... We'll keep that in mind um, or for future clip and stuff like that, but let's head to the lodge and find a place to put this guy. Here we are in the lodge right here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and place him on this rock with these other two, and that will complete our multi-mount. So let's go ahead and edit it here, and he will go right there. So it is going to cost 1900 so not too terribly bad, honestly. So let's go ahead and text that guy, and there we have it. We have three mountain goats now up there on the rock stand, so I really do like that a lot. Um, the only thing I don't like is the fact that that one in the middle, his um, butt is going through the chimney there, which is honestly fine if you look at it from not that angle. So look at it from here, it does look like a really cool multi-mount. So yeah, I was really wanting another one of them guys, and I'm glad we got him today. So yeah, this is just going to be another compilation video. Um, I don't know how long I'll do it. I might do it a week or two, maybe three, who knows. Um, it'll just be, it'll just kind of come out when I don't really have any other ideas for other videos. So let's go ahead and jump into whatever the next clip is going to be. I have another five star up ahead. So this time it's going to be a five star bighorn sheep. So I want to say this is my third five star bighorn sheep from this spot um, specifically. So definitely really cool to see. So we're going to go ahead and try and take him down here. There's another one right there that's a two star mature. So just want to make sure there's nothing else over here. I don't think there is. So now we just have to figure out how we're going to take him down. We still have the 7600 um, pump action with us, and we might use it. Um, I think we'll go ahead and just use it since we have it on us, so we won't worry about going to the lodge and getting another gun. So let's go ahead and see what we can do right here. We'll go ahead and get the gun now. If we can take him from this spot right here, that'll be fine. Um, I can always move around the lake if I need to, but 
I'd like to just take him from right here. So let's go ahead and get the gun out here and just see how far away he's going to be. So he's somewhere in there. There he is right there. He's that one in the back. And that one's actually, I'm pretty sure that's the two-star mature right there, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, now we just have to wait for him to um, give us a good shot. He's 266 out, so probably go ahead and zero for 300 here, just so that we get enough distance to potentially take him down. So, as soon as that female moves out of the way, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll go, go for a shot like that right there. So, that should be good. I see the blood, um, and hopefully it is. Looks like he, yeah, he's stumbling around, so he shouldn't go too far right there. So, let's head over there, let's check him out, and... And here is our 5 star bighorn, so this is our 5th 5 star bighorn, I just checked a second ago, so that is honestly really crazy, so our biggest one is 499, so this guy is definitely going to have to try to beat that, but I don't think he will, he looks quite small, but we got him in the left lung right there, and that was just an absolutely perfect shot, even got into the right lung, and even got an artery right there as well, so 5 star, and he's going to be 88.9 on the genetics there, so really good one honestly, um, 5 star mature, another um, another one for the lodge, so didn't lose much meat, and 470 for the total score, so definitely wasn't going to be a um, 499, I could see that from a mile away, but he still really is a decent one, and we're going to go ahead and tax this guy, so now we're going to head to the lodge and find a place to put him, like I said, this is our 5th one, so let's go see where we can put him. So we're back here in the lodge, and we might as well just go ahead and put him right here in the middle between these two. So we have that one right there, and that one right there. Let's go ahead and put this one here in the middle. So there he is right there, and it's only going to cost 240 to tax him, so I think that is pretty good, honestly. So let's go ahead and tax him right there. And yeah, now we have five five-star bighorns, so probably going to try to stay away from the bighorn as much as possible. I actually do have another four-star out here that I have been keeping my eye on, so we'll kind of have to watch that. But yeah, I really do hope you enjoy this little clip here, and I'm going to try to get some Transylvania clips as well try to get some transylvania five stars for this compilation but yeah i'll see you all in the next clip okay guys so we have another clip here and in this clip we have a five star white tail so there he is right there and that is my second five star from this zone which is actually really crazy and there's also a three star adult over here if we can spot him i think that's him right there um but it's not giving us a spotting on him but he is a three star adult so i definitely expect that guy to be a five star at some point the way he's looking so we also have a bunch of four star mule deer over here so i've showed you this herd many many times but there are three more four stars over here and it's just really crazy to see this herd doing so well so there's one right there that one is also a four star and that one is a four star as well so we'll definitely be keeping a lookout on them and see if maybe we can get another five star out of there i think i have what six five star mule deer so if we do get a five star out of there i won't be like putting it in the lodge or anything but we're going to go ahead and focus in on our five star um, white tail here so there's a two star adult there i'm probably going to see if i can get down the hill just a bit there's also some wolves over here that i'm trying not to spook up because if i spook the wolves up more than likely they would end up going down there and spooking up the white tail we don't want that to happen so yeah, let's just go ahead and see where he's going to be. Is that him right there? That is, in fact, him. So that is a perfect shot. We have the 30-06 with us. So I think we should go ahead and just take him. Try to get him Try to get him while he's giving us a perfect shot there before he decides to move or something crazy like that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and mark him 150. We'll zero for 150. And let's take that shot. So the 30-06 is going to absolutely drop um, the white tail, the mule deer, stuff like that. So let's head over here and let's check this guy out. And let's see how big he's going to be. And here's this 5 star right here, so let's go ahead and pick him up and let's see how we did. So we got him in the left lung and the right lung right there, so really good shot, um, went through both the lungs. And we also caught the artery with some cavity damage as well, so 96.79 on the genetics, definitely a really decent one and a 5 star mature. So 488 for the total score, now that's very interesting, I'm actually curious to see what our biggest one is. And that is in fact our 5th one by the way, which is absolutely crazy because it took me so long to get my first one and now we're just getting them like at least once a week, it seems like we're getting a 5 star white tail. So this one was a 492, so he's definitely not our biggest one. This one right here was a 473, and then we have two back to back right here, this one's a 477 and this one is a 482. So what was this one that we just shot? I've done forgot honestly, he was a 488, so he is our second biggest one. So we're going to go ahead and tax this guy. So we're back in the lodge, and we're going to go ahead and I think just place him right up here on this plaque. So I had one up here previously, and then I ended up removing it. So yeah, it doesn't take much to tax it either, just 180, so that'll be really good. So let's go ahead and tax this guy. And yeah, our fifth five-star white tail. So we're back over here at this herd of mule deer, and I can confirm that two out of the three that were four stars are now five stars. So that guy right there, he is a five star, and then this one over here is also a five star. So pretty sure the other one ended up dying off. So we're going to go ahead and get that one really quickly. 
while he's giving us a good shot, we have the 30-06 with us, and yeah, it's going to be very interesting because this is going to be 5 stars number 7 and 8 for the Mule Deer. Our Mule Deer luck has been just absolutely insane. So, we'll go ahead and start with this one right here. It will be number 7, and that is going to be an absolute perfect shot. So, we're going to have to track them down here in a second, but he is not going to go too far, and he's probably actually down right there. Pretty sure he's going to be, so let's head over there, let's check this guy out, and let's see how we did, let's see what his score is going to be. And here is our 5 star mule deer right here, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up, and currently the animals are kind of glitched out as I'm recording this, sometimes when you shoot them, they'll just end up kind of standing up like this when they die, so it's really weird honestly, but this is just right after the Halloween update, so we're going to go ahead and pick him up here, and let's see how we did. So. Got him in the left lung and the right lung there, actually hit a little bit high on him, but it was a double lung shot, and it was actually a really good shot, just a little bit high, so he's going to be a 92.43 on the genetics and a 5 star mature, so like I said, this will be our 7th 5 star mature mule deer, which is just absolutely crazy, so let's see what his um, score is going to be, 471.9, so don't think he's our biggest one, I think he's actually pretty small, and we can actually check really quickly, um, we'll just go in here and let's see the mule deer, that was actually our first ever 5 star right there. So, 464 for that one, we scroll down, we have two back to back here, this one's a 468, this one is a 466, so he might actually be one of our big ones, we actually have three back to back there, 473 for this guy, so this one is going to be a 464, and if we scroll down a little bit, we have another one right there, that's a 478.9, so that is our biggest one right there, so, looks like this one is our second biggest one, so actually pretty, or yeah, or third biggest one, yeah, so, 471.9 we're gonna go ahead and tax this guy and like I said we're not actually gonna put this guy in the lodge just because we already have so many in the lodge but we will tax them just in case so let's go ahead and see if we can find this second one now okay guys so just a quick little update on that five star mule deer that was in the same herd as that other five star we just took down in the last clip so he ended up dying off I guess um, so what happened was I essentially was trying to track him down and I ended up finding them again but then spooked him off again on accident they ended up getting away, wasn't able to find them, so I decided to just do some hunting, and then ended up resetting the time. Now when I reset the time, I wasn't able to find the herd. I assume they were probably at their other drink zone. All the animals in the game, they have two drink zones. So I assume they were there, and I just wasn't able to find that drink zone, which was really unfortunate. And when I actually found them in that same spot again, they ended up dying, or he, I guess he ended up dying off. So it's just really unfortunate. Um, we've got seven five stars, so it's not like we need a eighth five star mule deer, but it'd been really cool to actually take him down. Now there was a four star mature whitetail in the herd next to them, so I actually ended up getting him. But of course, my um, recording of that ended up getting—I don't know what happened to it. The file just was gone after I got done recording it, so I don't know what happened with that, but I can show you it really quickly. So, he is down here at the very bottom. I went ahead and taxed him, but I'm not going to put him in the lodge, just because we have five of them in there already, so there he is right there. We'll go ahead and take a look at him. So, go to bullet cam here, and yeah, you just see right here, he is a five-star mature, 94.9 .9 on the genetics, and his trophy rating is 480, so just thought I'd go ahead and show you that really quickly, since I wasn't able to actually get the footage of actually taking him down and you can actually I don't think you can oh yeah you can right here so I didn't show you this with the five star mule deer but with this latest update the Halloween update you're able to actually inspect the animals like this and it can make for some really good screenshots actually and actually just a good way to look at the animals and stuff so you can even show the organs which I think is pretty cool so just thought I'd go ahead and show you that really quickly and yeah let's see what other five stars we can get another five star up ahead and it's going to be another five star bighorn sheep so i've been watching him since he was a four star and finally he is a five star so we're going to go ahead and take him down and there's actually another four star in there as well so definitely something to keep an eye on so if it'll bring our gun out which it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's going to for some reason it doesn't like to do that from time to time just will not give me my 30 out six but there it goes right there so let's go ahead and see if we can take him so that's gonna be him right there and then there one of the one of them is the four star pretty sure it's that one back in the back there so let's go ahead and get this five star it's 100 meters out or 110 meters out so let's go ahead and take that shot right there so that'll be absolutely perfect on him and yeah he doesn't look like doesn't look like he's the biggest one ever but we'll go over here we're gonna check him out we're gonna see what he is gonna score and here's our five star bighorn so let's go ahead and pick him up and let's see what he's gonna score so we got him in the left lung the artery and the right lung right there so perfect shot on that guy double lung and then also got that artery he's gonna be a five star mature so 435 for his sell price and 94.25 on the genetics so pretty good genetics there as well so 463 for his total score 
definitely on the smaller end. Um, I kind of figured he was going to be small just looking at his um, horns when we first spotted him. So 463, we're going to go ahead and tax him. And we're actually just going to go ahead and go to the lodge. I'm going to place that 5-star white tail that I showed you um, in the last clip. And we're going to go ahead and place this guy as well. So let's go see if we can find a spot for him. And there is our 5-star bighorn right there. So we also have this 5-star white tail that I talked about in the last clip. And then we also have this 5-star mule deer that we got a couple clips back. I didn't end up placing them just because I really wasn't wanting to put more mule deer in here because as you can see we have a ton of mule deer in here even some downstairs but I decided to go ahead and do it just so we could fill up the lodge and stuff and we can always replace them if we get something bigger so let's go ahead and see what the next clip is going to be. So we're back over here where we got our five star bighorn sheep and like I said in that clip there was a four star over here as well and he is now a five star so he actually looks really decent compared to that other one. He actually looks like he has some really big horns on him so we're going to go ahead and take him down. He's giving us a really good shot there so I will show you where this guy is. I forget to do that every time I find the five stars to actually show you what lake they're on and what river and stuff. But. I'm going to try to start doing that more, so there's actually a 3 star mature in there as well, I think that's the one that's kind of colliding with him right there, but our 5 star is that one right there, yeah he's definitely a decent one, I feel like he'll probably be like a 480s maybe, so let's go ahead and mark, so he's 168, so we'll zero for 150 here, and of course he's going to cut a quarter away right there, so that that's just how they like to do it sometimes, I just don't want to cooperate, so we're going to have to kind of see if we can kind of get a better angle, so while we're waiting here, it's over here um, just at this campsite, so like, right between she devil and the white pine orchard area so literally just kind of right here on the line at this lake so i think this is where we've gotten three of our five star bighorn maybe two or three i don't remember exactly but yeah we've definitely got a couple from here so we're going to go ahead and see if we can take him down now so yeah he's definitely not going to move around right here so there's that three star right there and while we're waiting we might as well go ahead and spot the rest of them and just kind of see what we have going on so yeah, that one's a 3 star mature, I think there's a 1 star adult in here somewhere, I spotted him, there's a 1 star young, 1 star young, um, that one is a 1 star adult, so there's a 1 star adult, so a bunch of young ones in here, we're going to get to see what they become later on, and if this herd has um, shown us anything, it's probably going to be 5 stars, so I'm very interested to see, so yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get a shot on him now, he's actually kind of coming back this way now. And yeah, there he is right there. So I'm probably just going to take that shot, honestly. I think I can probably slide it into the lung there. So let's go ahead and go for it. And yeah, we absolutely dropped him there. He's not going to go down right away, but that flipped him over. That was actually super, super cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I wonder if that's like a new animation or something. And maybe it's not. I just never have seen it. But that was really cool to actually see. So he should go down from that. That blood looks really good over there. Definitely lung blood. So let's head over here and let's check him out. And here's our big one right here. So yeah, this guy is absolutely massive. You can just see his horns right there. He is just absolutely huge. So we're going to go ahead and pick him up here. We're going to see what his score is going to be. So I think I said like 480s or something like that. So got him in the right lung right there. No surprise at all. I figured it'd be single lungs. So he didn't go down right away, but it was still a really good shot. So 98.4 on the genetics. He's going to be a 5-star mature. I think this is what our 5th or 6th big horn now at this point. So we have a bunch of 5-star big horn. And then 496.1, holy, so he is abs he's absolutely massive, yeah, that's like our second biggest one, I would say, our biggest is 499, so just to see another one get really close to that is absolutely insane, so 496.1, he is going to be a giant um, level 5, not level 5, I'm talking about Call of the Wild now, 5 star Bighorn, so we're going to go ahead and tax this guy, and let's go ahead and head to the lodge and find a place to put this guy. So we're here in the lodge, and we're going to go ahead and find a place to put this guy. So these two right here, if I'm not mistaken, one of them is the 499, and the other one is a 493. So I was checking through our stuff there. So this is like, I think, Bighorn number 7. So there's two here. There's three over there, so that is five. And there's one over here behind us. Yeah, that is Bighorn number 7. So that is absolutely insane. So might as well go ahead and put him right here. He is a giant, so or I guess we can't put him right there. Never mind. So I might actually replace our white tail right here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and replace him. It didn't take much to put him up there. And let's put this big horn right here. So I got to change the diorama there. So let's go back and we'll put this big horn right beneath this other one. So let's see, I don't want to put white, I want to put big horns. So let's go ahead and change it. And he's only going to be 250 to tag. So that's not bad either. So going to tag him there. And there we have it. We have two um, five star big horn right there. And this guy's just an absolute giant. That is just really, really cool to see. So we'll go ahead and place this white till, um, I guess, right here for now. So I'll go ahead and put him right there, and we'll go ahead and do that right there. That'll be pretty cool. So we'll select that. It's going to be 225, two tag seams. So 
we're starting to really fill out the lodge here and hopefully we can find some more um, five stars i really want to get a five star moose that is like my main goal at this point just because we have so many other five stars of just, like just multiple five stars in the same species so hopefully we can find a five star moose at some point but i think we're going to switch over to hirschfeld now and see if maybe we can get some trophies over there if not then i will just let you know in the next clip and really quickly, just want to correct myself there. I said Hirschfeld, but I meant Transylvania, so I guess I have Call of the Wild on my mind or something, but Transylvania, it does remind me of Hirschfeld, so we're going to go ahead and jump over to Transylvania, and we're going to see if we can find some five stars. So we're out here on Transylvania for this clip, so as you can see, we have a five-star roe deer right there, so I've been watching this guy for a little while now. He was a four-star for the longest time, and then finally, he just became a five-star, so I'm really excited about that. I was kind of worried he might end up dying off, but he didn't so we have some red deer over here as well there is even some fallow deer so there is animals everywhere but he is giving us a perfect shot now so i think we're just going to go ahead and take it and there's also a four star fallow deer out here so not like over here beside us but at a different location so keeping an eye on that um if he becomes a five star you'll see it in this compilation if he doesn't then you just won't ever see him but just so i'd keep that um in mind so we're gonna go ahead and try and take him down here. I don't think we have anything too crazy for the red deer. I think there's a bunch of two star matures and stuff like that in there that I eventually do need to get out. So he's 123 meters out. So we'll just go ahead and zero for, let's go for 100. That should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and take that shot right there. And that is gonna be absolutely perfect. So he is down. So yeah, you can just see all of the red deer, the fallow deer, everything just coming out from over there. So that one's a pretty decent one there. Um, looks like we can't spot him. They're just going all over the place. But as far as I'm aware, there's no five stars or anything. So let's run down here. Let's check out this five star road deer. This will be our second one. We got our first one not too long ago, actually, probably about a couple weeks ago. So let's run over here and check this one out. And here is our five star road deer. So yeah, this guy is pretty big, honestly. So let's go ahead and pick him up and let's see what he's going to score. So got him in the left lung and the right lung right there. So really good double lung shot even managed to get some, a bunch of cavity damage on the artery there so he definitely wasn't going to go anywhere even if we got single lung the um, 30-06 is going to drop him so he is absolutely massive as you can see right there 97.92 on the genetics he is a five star mature so yeah this guy is pretty massive we can inspect him right here and he just has yeah some really really big antlers there so let's go ahead and look at his trophy scores so 493.0 yeah that guy's definitely a monster roe deer so I think our other one was like a 470s, so yeah, this guy's definitely going to just out outscore him by quite a bit there, so we're going to go ahead and get to taxi, and we'll go to the lodge and find a place to put him. Actually, I know where I'm going to put him. I'm going to put him up there with our other 5-star road deer, so let's go check him out. And here we are on the lodge, so there is our first one right up there, so we can actually go ahead and go into the taxidermy assistant and just take a look at him, so let's see, what is his trophy score? 474.9, so I knew it was in the 470s, just wasn't too sure exactly, but yeah, he's just small compared to this one we got today, so let's go ahead and place him up here, I mean, it shouldn't cost too much, yeah, it's gonna be 550, so that is not too bad, so I guess we'll go ahead and put him right there in the middle, that'll be good, so 550 to tax this guy, let's go ahead and do it, so... Yeah, he is just absolutely massive compared to the one we got the other day, so go into photo mode here and just get a better look at him, and yeah, just an absolute giant road deer, so really exciting, so we only need one more of these, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for one, hopefully we can get another one very soon to complete that multi-mount, so like I said, there is a, not a 5-star fallow deer, but a 4-star fallow deer out here, so I'll check up on him um, in the coming days, and if you see the clip in here, that means he's a 5-star, so let's go ahead and see what else we can find. This clip we're back out here on Transylvania, so we have a 5-star Mouflon over here if we can spot him. Pretty sure he's that one right there, and there he is right there. So 5-star Mouflon, there was actually 3 4-stars in this herd, so he was one of the 4-stars, he became a 5-star, and there's actually still one of them alive, so definitely have to keep an eye on that guy because he could potentially be a 5-star down the line, but it does seem like the other 4-star did end up dying off, which is okay, honestly, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this 5-star. This would be our second 5-star Mouflon, if I'm not mistaken, so... We're going to get a bit closer here, and I'll let you know when we have a good shot on this guy. Okay, guys, so there is our 5-star right there, so he's 133 meters out, so we're going to zero for 150 here, and let's go ahead and take that shot right there, so that was a bit far back on him, just a bit far back. I think it's going to take him down, but it's not exactly what I wanted. He kind of took a few more steps than I would have liked there, but should be a good shot, I guess, to take him down, so let's head over there and let's see. 
And here's our five star Mouflon. So he didn't go too far, only about 60 meters here. So we're gonna go ahead and pick him up and see how we did. So yeah, we definitely hit far back like I expected it to be. I didn't know it was gonna be that far back, but hit him in the intestines right there. So definitely unfortunate. Um, at least he went down really quickly. I am thankful for that. So we're gonna go ahead and check his genetics out. So 90.22% on the genetics, five star mature. So this will be our second five star Mouflon and his trophy rating is gonna be 473. So I think our other one is a 480. I'm pretty sure 480 485 something like that somewhere in between there so this is a decent one so we're gonna go ahead and taxi and we're gonna take him to the lodge so yeah i will be keeping track of that other four star and seeing if maybe he becomes a five star so let's head to the lodge and find a place to put this guy so we're here in the lodge and we're gonna go ahead and place our five star mouflon so i think i'm gonna put him right here so it's gonna cost 270 to taxidermy him so that is not very bad at all so let's go ahead and just hit that really quickly and there he is. So what was his estimate to get or his score again? I've already forgot. Um, he is the one down here. So he was a 473. And the one we got, um, our first ever one we got was a 483. I checked it a second ago. So they are just 10 points apart. The first one is the biggest one. So it'll be very interesting to see if that other one does become a 5 star out there. So I'll be keeping an eye on that. We also have some red deer out here that are 4 stars. And that fallow deer that I was talking about, I'm not too sure he's even alive at this point. Um... I've been looking for his herd, but I haven't been able to find the herd, which is very, very interesting. So I'll keep you updated on everything. Let's go ahead and jump to the next clip. This clip, we're back over here with these Mouflon, and that four star did in fact turn into a five star. So there he goes right there. So after a little bit, he finally decided to turn into a five star. We have a one star adult there now. There's a one star adult there, and then there's some other males in there. So he's giving us a really good shot. So we're going to go ahead and try and get him down here. So the first one, the one we um, shot, I think in the last clip it was, we kind of messed him up, we hit him in the intestines, so I don't want to do the same thing with this, so we got to reload here really quickly, and of course he's going to start moving around right there, but let's go ahead and see if we can get him now, so 160 meters out will zero for 100, and he is going to go behind the rock, so of course he's not going to want to cooperate with us, but he is going to come out right there, so we should be able to get him as long as he starts to go and feed right there, and he's probably, yeah, he's going to turn right towards us, so that is exactly what I figured he'd do, I figured he would not want to cooperate whatsoever, so... I'm just going to kind of sit here and I'll let you know when we have a clear shot. We kind of have one now, but I think I'm going to wait just a little bit. And Terry he is right here, so he's giving us a perfect shot. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, and that is going to be perfect. So he honestly looks like a really big one there, so I'm interested to see what his score is going to be. So we're going to head down here and get him, and yeah, that absolutely dropped him. So I don't think there was anything else too crazy over here. It's a bunch of one stars now since we've been taking out the bigger ones, and then that four star ended up dying off. So let's head over here and let's check him out. What was our other one? I think he was, what, a 480 maybe? Um, I don't even remember at this point. Let's see, 473, so that was a 473, and the first one was a 483, but that's a red deer right there, that's not what I wanted, a 483, yeah, so this one, he looks definitely decent, I think he could easily be maybe a 480s, maybe 470s, but we'll to wait and see, and who knows, maybe he's a 490, let's go ahead and pick him up here, so got him in the right lung right there, also got the artery for a ton of cavity damage, cavity damage so really good shot on him, 95.04 on the genetics, he is going to be a 5 star, so he is absolutely massive, I think potentially he could be 490s, who knows, so 486.0 he is in fact our biggest one now so really close to being a 490 i knew he looked really really big so that is super cool to see and we can inspect him right here and yeah he is a pretty decent one so we're going to go ahead and tax this guy head to the lodge and find a place to put him so we're here in the lodge and we're going to go ahead and place this five star mouflon so i think we're going to put him right up here there's a lot of these little plaques are just across the roof here so let's go ahead and put him right here so it's going to be 280 to taxidermy him i've already went ahead and selected it there but we can actually clear this really or change it really quickly and we can do just the mouflon head or we could do just the mouflon body and that's what we're going to do so let's go ahead and i guess yeah tax him so 280 that is not too bad whatsoever so there we have it, our um, second five-star move, our third five-star move line. So he is the biggest one at um, 486. So I think I have a couple more trophies out here that could potentially be five stars for the clips and stuff. So let's go see what we got.